In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. As you grow more and more in thanking God, your life will take on a different shape. Thanksgiving gives a good flavor to the life. The thankful person is always satisfied and enjoys everything. There are children who, by nature, accept a present and get excited about it. On the other hand, some children are always grouchy and do not like anything. You want to be like the first kind of children who are happy about anything. A thankful person is a happy person who lives his best days on earth and enters heaven from its widest gates. The virtue of gratitude by itself ushers him into heaven. Remember that. The virtue of thanksgiving by itself ushers you into heaven. If you did not do anything good in your life, but your attitude toward God is always one of gratitude, you'll reach heaven. I will tell you why in a little bit. Let's take some stories and verses that encourage us to live a life of thanksgiving. Our Lord Jesus stood in front of Lazarus' tomb. It was a hard situation because he was his friend and very close to him. His sisters reproached him, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. That's in John chapter 11. When Jesus went to the tomb, they thought that he would cry as others. He told them to take away the stone. When they did, he surprised them by praying and saying, Father, I thank you. It was a very strange situation. Are you thanking God because he died? Are you thanking God for his sister's sadness? What are you thanking God for? Our Lord Jesus was always thankful. Jesus was the complete man who showed us the ideal example. Even at that moment, he thanked God, saying, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. When did God hear you? Lazarus is dead. If you prayed before for Lazarus to be healed, then God didn't listen to you. No, he did hear. How did he hear you although Lazarus died? Because I know that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they might believe that you sent me. He was teaching us how to talk to God in prayer. For them, so they may believe that you sent me, I am asking you to raise Lazarus from the dead. So God said to him, Okay, as long as you thanked me in the beginning, okay, I'll raise Lazarus now. He can live some more years, then die again. All things are possible. So in the hardest situation, our Lord Jesus gave thanks to God. He has taught us this so we can be thankful in every situation and be thankful all the time. We also learn how some prayers are answered by not being answered, and these too deserve thanks. God does nothing but the best thanks for us.